Hi, John here. Welcome to a new video. This video is about our pigeon problem under our solar panels and I'll explain more as we go along. We've found that pigeons have sort of moved into the area, feral pigeons, and our solar panels, in fact there's five houses sort of back to back along the row which have all got solar panels fitted about 10 years ago, 10, 11 years ago and at that time bird gardening wasn't a thing. So the pigeons have found the solar panels and they are taking to roosting under there and with time they'll be soon nesting under there. Pigeons apparently like to have something above their head when they roost, which is why they go into buildings and whatever, or under solar panels. So I've been scaring them away with my patented stick, uh, <laughs> which works, and the pigeons are scared of me now, and my stick. Uh, but it's only a temporary solution, and they still keep coming back, as you can see here, sitting on the roof. Oh, incidentally, this is before I clean the solar panels. You can see all that litching on the, the top of the panels. I'll talk more about that in another video, uh, which I haven't recorded yet, but I'm going to do one on how I clean the panels. We had a problem with our solar panels, which a lot of you know about, the left-hand array there, the six panels. The, one of the optimizers died. So Stratford Energy, who installed those, came to replace that. And again, that's on a separate video. But I thought while we're there, we'll get them to fit bird guards. So that was all agreed and quoted for. And when the guys arrived, they found that there was a bit of a problem because our original array on the right hand side, the 16 panels, don't have a lip on them. So their bird guard that they use has a clip which fits onto the lip of the solar panels. So in the end, it turned out that they couldn't fit the bird guards. So I decided I would do the guarding myself. I had a look on various websites and YouTube videos and I ended up with EnviroGuard, this company here, and they did various options. Two types really, the stainless steel Why I went for the newer array because that had the lip around the panels, so I could use that. And then for panels that didn't have that lip, you could then use these spikes, these solar spikes, which you'd buy by the meter, and then you could trim them to, to suit. So I thought, awesome, that's a good idea. Okay, so this is what I ordered. They also do some clips, which we'll see later in the video, and they weren't in stock at the time. The items quickly arrive. These are the clips which fit under the solar panels. As you can see there, that's uh, quite straightforward. You'll see those in a bit more detail in a minute. This was the adhesive. So that's a clear crystal adhesive from Soodle for fixing spikes onto the edge of the panels. I also bought some tin snips. Set of instructions on how to install them, fairly straightforward. I'd also watched loads of YouTube videos, so it wasn't really a, a major problem. And then this is the wire. Oh, these were the stainless steel, like tie wraps. Um, these are the clips. So most of the clip is sitting under the panel. There's a, a tongue there, which slides under the lip of the panel. And then, as you'll see in a minute, the big flat washer and the nut secures through to secure the wire to the panel. So first up was to measure how much was required and then cut that to length. It's fairly easy to cut with the tin snips. And I've got a bit of board here which I use to actually bend the wire around. The, bend's, the, the wire's quite ductile, it's quite easy to, to bend. It just makes it easier to bend round a former or a shape rather than trying to just do it freehand. You get a cleaner bend. A bit tricky here, so I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm being a bit lazy with my camera work here, so I'm doing this with my iPhone. So uh, apologies for the lack of camera quality. What I ended up doing was um, I formed a, a sort of V-shaped here, but I ended up, as you'll see later in the video, bending the top section over, which made it a lot more secure. 
because it was basically too tall. I then realised that my ladder that I did have wouldn't be long enough, tall enough to reach the top apex of the house. So a new ladder was ordered. This is me starting with the area where the pigeons were exiting and entering to get under the panel. So I thought I would do that first. So here you can see I've bent over the top area to double it up. So it gives it a lot more strength. My solar panels are on rails, so they stick out a bit um, on the end. So we have to cut round those to fit. And then in the case of putting the clips on, tightening up the, the washer and the bolt and then just snipping off the surplus. It was really quite easy to fit actually. I've tidied this up since these photos. Um, come around the corner at the bottom and then I've got this bottom edge to do as well. And these are the newer panels which have the lip all the way round and then we transition into the older panels. So here's the clips going in. Very easy to fit, they just clip them on one every sort of 18 inches or so. And they just slide in underneath. I also took the opportunity to clear all the moss from the tiles as well, because there was lots of moss that was sitting there. This is a corner uh, where I've just cut a small piece and just tied it in overlap the join there and then added the washers and the bolts you just tighten them up and you can really feel how strong the guard then becomes you just clip off the surplus and there's no way the pigeons are going to get under there it is very firm so that was that array done down the left hand side and along the bottom. It's all over very neat. And it had a tricky area because I've got a really small gap between the two arrays. So I ended up just creating a U shape of the mesh and dropping that in place. So you can see here, this was again tied in with clips. So I need to do the top edge as well. I haven't done that yet, but I'll need to access that from the ridge. But yeah, it looks very tidy once it's done. This was the pigeons coming home that evening for their normal roost. Only to discover that, hang on a minute, what's happened here? So I was trying to walk around and film at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, the camera work isn't so good as it normally is for me. Uh, they soon gave up and decided that well we're not going to get in there. I thought they might try and get in in another area, but you can see they go to the top of the ridge. But they just can't seem to get in under there, which is good. So after a few minutes, they gave up. This is sort of roosting time, so they wanted to be away for the night, and they nip in under our neighbours. This was the, the second bit of the installation. So this is the dirty edge of the older array. This is after I'd cleaned the actual panels, all this algae and what have you was sitting there. So first job was to clean the edge of the panels where the adhesive would be sticking to the edge of the panel. You can see there a before and after. I have got yet to do that one. This is a tricky underside <laughs> shot of the panels. You can see there there's sort of a lip under there. It's got a, it has no lip, there's just a, a, an edge, a thickness of the actual aluminium frame. This is me just testing for fit on the spikes. I then cut a piece of cardboard the size of one of the spikes, measured it for height so it sat at the height of the top of the solar panel and then measured out to create the curves of the tiles. I could then use this to then cut down each one of the spikes to match the curve of the roof.
This is the second night with the pigeons arriving back to roost. And I just was keeping an eye on it just to see what they would do. And we had really good weather actually. Oh, there's a kite just going over, which is just fortuitous. <laughs> And there are the two pigeons. This was the pair that was under our roof. So they've now been evicted. The white one's already gone in. And this little chap now is heading round and going to join him or her. So they seem to be a, a breeding pair. Because they were been mating on the on the roof already. So it won't be long before they'll be nesting. Pigeons can breed all year round apparently. But there he or she bops under there. So the next day I decided to create a different template out of a different material but same principle going along the top edge of the panel and then following the, the shape of the roofing tile and this was a lot longer so it allowed me to do um, three of these spike guards at a, at a time. Each one is 500 mil long, so it's 1500 mil I was able to to do at a time, which is about a one and a half panels, solar panels. And uh, here's me just trimming off and uh, following the, the the roof line. So this was a lot lot quicker. The first template was just way too short, way too small, and it just took me ages to do two or three. Uh, plus I was up and down the ladder each time. So here I could do three at a time and um, it speeded up uh, progress tremendously. Big old pile of cuttings. And this is them fitted. So use the adhesive, put that on and then just pressed the plastic against them. Use pegs just to tighten them and you can see here the gap between the tile and the bottom spikes. Kept the pegs in for a day. The um, adhesive went hard or cured over 24 hours. So it was sort of maximum hardness over 24 hours. So that's how far I got. On day two, I was blessed with good weather actually here, nice and sunny. So this was me finishing off on day three. So it's all completed now, right to the end. I left a gap at the end there because I'm going to wrap the wire around that side as I did on the other end. And then these clips then came back into stock so I ordered some of those and a few spares as well for future use. This is my ladder installation just so you can see that they're safety first. So I removed the guttering so I could get a good secure ladder position on the roof. I then went along about removing all the pegs, which was a little bit tricky because they <laughs> were difficult to get out, as you can see here. It's a bit of fiddling and manoeuvring to get them out. And then pick up the clips and just clip them in place. Just work my way along there. Had a little visitor while I was up there. B come to see what I was doing. This was a bit tough to fit this one because the um, spike guard was a little bit low. It was just slightly underhanging the um, the frame. They do different heights on these clips. This is the 35 mil clip, and they do 30 mil as well if you've got thinner panels. So if you want those, make sure you get the right ones. 
they're probably only relevant for the older type of panels because I believe most of the newer panels have a lip on them already. Although they are all fitted. Marvellous. And uh, yeah, so no more pigeons underneath our panels, thankfully. They've been rehoused. I'm showing you this view because you could actually look underneath up the panel from the ground and you could see, see the pigeons underneath which is why I would go and then get my stick out and frighten them off. The pigeons are getting their own back though because they're now leaving their calling card on my panel as a statement of annoyance that they've been evicted from their home. And uh, next door but one, um, they've also this weekend, uh, which is Saturday the 25th of Feb, have had a contractor in to do the same on their panels. So they were also suffering the same as us with pigeons going underneath their panels. So now the house in between, our neighbours, are having all of the pigeons. 